Hi, my name is Chris Melby. I'm a Lego enthusiast and a Star Trek fan. The NCC-1701 USS Enterprise refit version from the 1970s movie Star Trek The Motion Picture. It was the big screen debut of the Enterprise and it was the movie where Kirk and company reunited for some more pretty cool on-screen adventures. A little bit about the model. It's uh, a little over 72 inches long. It's about 35 inches wide. Has a little over 30,000 bricks. And it's mounted on a heavy duty industrial uh, rolling cart with a full sheet of Lego for the base and a dedication plaque. Okay, I'm gonna start off with the saucer section. Uh, first here is you have the impulse engines and the top of the turbo shaft Moving over here to the back of the main bridge, the lower bridge, the phasers, observation windows in the saucer rim. You have a main gangway hatch with some identification, and that was on the port side only. Uh, marker lights, the front NCC-1701 and the USS Enterprise badging. Full frontal view there of the saucer, the RCS thrusters, and again, the starboard running lights. Okay, moving on here to the uh, dorsal connector, essentially the neck of the ship, and the engineering star drive section. Uh, some of the things I was trying to capture were, of course, scale, uh, the proper angles of the of the neck that, uh, that connects the saucer to the star drive, the photon control. It had the twin uh, photon launcher, which was an upgrade into the new ship. It had a fully recessed deflector dish, uh, quite a few details, RCS thrusters around the dish, all kinds of new sensors and equipment that was surrounding the dish. Uh, Starfleet identification marks and symbolisms, quite a few portholes, and uh, quite a few shuttle hatches. And then moving around to the rear of the refit, the pylons connecting the, the uh, nacelle engines had been moved forward, which made the shuttle bay quite a bit longer. And uh, here's a rear of shuttle bay detailing, uh, shuttle bay doors, rear ship badging, and an iconic view of the impulse engines at the top of the dorsal connector. Okay, and finally is a shot here of the, uh, the engines of the Enterprise, the nacelles, and the pylons that connect the nacelles to the engineering star drive. Uh, starting off here is the shape of the nacelle, it has that iconic V shape. It has the intake vents at the front that sweep across to the top. Over on the side, there's a ram scoop on both sides of the nacelle. And then there's uh, the venting on the side of the nacelle. The engines have a different venting for the outside and the inside. On the, on the outside, it's a, a very fine vent. And then you'll notice over here on the inside, it's a very coarse vent. Uh, some detailing on the back of the pylon. And then of course, the Starfleet badging with the United Federation of Planets. RCS thrusters on the back of the nacelle and just some overall detailing of the rear of the ship.